Paradise Lost is an epic retelling of the book of Genesis from the Old Testament, written by this guy, John Milton. He was blind, so he couldn't write, so he just recited the poem and got his daughter to write it down for him. Anyway, the book starts off with the demons in hell after they just tried to revolt against God and got completely destroyed. Then one of them is like, Man, that was so cool. We should do that again. And Satan, the main bad demon guy, he's like, Totally, man, and, and I know the perfect way of doing it. And in heaven, God's like, I'm going to make some people in my image and give them paradise, but just sort of leave this tree here so just in case they want to eat from it, they can. But they aren't supposed to. It's like a trust thing. All the angels don't really understand but just go along like, okay, God, what, whatever, man. Then Eve is like making crown flowers or something, and the devil appears in snake form and he's like, eat the fruit. Eve's like, no, I would never do that. And the snake is like... It's actually in God's plan to make you eat this. It's a trick by God to see if you're, uh... Eve's already sold. Eve takes a bite of the apple. God instantly knows she messed up. She goes to Adam. Adam's like, damn, well, I love you and I can't be without you, so... He takes a bite of the apple and he loses his, uh, relationship with God. Anyway, that's basically it. Adam and Eve lose their home, and life sucks for the rest of eternity for humanity because of one tiny mistake. Milton kind of presents this weird and pretty archaic view of religion, and it's kind of bizarre. Like, God is above everyone, and he is amazing, and never challenge God or else you are doomed. In terms of his view on family dynamics, they're pretty clear. When Adam is talking to an angel that God sent down... The angel is describing how Eve would make the perfect wife because she's docile and submissive. Although he wasn't a misogynist in the sense that he hated women, he was pretty adamant about them being less intelligent and less powerful than men. Which is weird because he got his daughter, of all people, to pen it for him. So he must have had a trust for her and her abilities. Milton presented family dynamics as though they had been there this whole time. Nothing groundbreaking in terms of breaking down social barriers, but interesting to see how these views have been stable for so long.